Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com and uh, welcome to this week with John, Oscar and our new guest Kim. 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 Kim, yes. that's right. Speaking of Kim, you realize that the, the new season of Kim's Market is now on Netflix. You ever watch that show? No. Kim's Market, it's, uh, it's, uh, that's because it's a Canadian show based in Toronto. It's about a Korean family named Kim mm. and they have a convenience grocery store. So yeah, but it's season three is on, is on Netflix now, so it's looking forward to it. Comedy, comedy? Oh. comedy drama, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this week we decided we we're going to answer some of your reader question, reader question, and and I picked some of the really cool questions that I think you guys were interested in, and we can share. And uh, the first one is uh, someone asked me about remote working because we're all internet marketers and we all working from home. Sometimes it get, can get pretty boring, so we sure. like to get some interaction with people and just for a change of pace. So. But instead of working at the typical Starbucks, you know, because everyone goes to Starbucks. Like, yeah. first I hate going to Starbucks because a the Wi-Fi sucks. Well, for for what we need to do, yeah, yeah the Wi-Fi it's sucks. Not bad for normal. You ever try uploading a video at Starbucks? Right, that's what I'm like happen. your honesty. <laughs> yeah. Like it's okay for normal people. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't upload a video. There's no way. Okay. So the question was, besides Starbucks, what are a great place to work remotely that you can? do some networking, get some peace and quiet, and actually do some work done. And uh, for me, see, this is, I guess this is like life hacking, right? So I wanna tell you my top two places to work remotely and uh, where much, much faster Wi-Fi than Starbucks. And the first one is automotive dealerships, the service center. Luxury automotive dealership. Luxury <laughs> automotive dealership. Fletcher Jones, Mercedes Benz, yeah. here in Newport Beach. Uh, when, I, when I had my Mercedes, yeah. right? So I used to go there all the time. They would wash my car for free. The customer lounge had like multiple plaza screen all tuned to Fox News, so <laughs> awesome. Right? And <laughs> they had a Starbucks inside that served free Starbucks coffee. Yeah, and it's pretty decent speed because yeah, nobody and, uses it. Yeah, it is fast speed and it's free coffee, so why not? You don't have to pay for it. And when I got my Jaguar, at the Jaguar service center, not only do they have free coffee, they have free donuts and fast internet. So it's free with your $100,000 car. Yeah, the thing is, at the service center, <laughs> nobody knows, at the service center, nobody knows that you're a customer or not. Because you see other people just sitting there, they assume your car is getting service, right? That's so true. you can always just walk into the service center, just sit down, pop up your laptop, start working, and they think and someone asks you, I'm just waiting for my car. Just continue working. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good point. And yeah. there you go, right? So just, that's they number one. Verify that's a good hack. That's kind yeah, of they won't the... verify. Yeah, they don't... because at, that, at those places, they're not gonna question you. I guess yeah, they're, gonna, they're not gonna ask you any question. And and <laughs> so it's good for you. It's a good way for you that you get lunch, drinks, and free Wi-Fi. So that's the first one. Now, the second place is the Apple Store. The Apple Store is now. If you want to upload a video and you need to upload it at blazing fast speed. You can Apple Store by yeah, far. That's better, it better, oh. It's better than your house. Yeah, because uh, one time I was editing my video here. I was at a Larry K Bakery. So they, they have Wi-Fi, you know, if you Larry K Bakery. And I was uploading a video. Basically, we were there for two and a half hours. Uh, I got to 42% after two and a half hours yeah, on this video, which was like 800 meg. And then I finally got tired of it. Went to the Apple Store in South Coast Plaza. Did the remaining 54% in three minutes. Yeah, you can do like a gig. Yeah, yeah. A gig and the Apple Store, five, they five leave minutes. you alone. You just find an empty table, go where the customer service area, where, they, where the people teach you, put to teach you some stuff. Yeah. Plug your computer in even. <laughs> <laughs> you can plug it in and just work, they won't bug you alone. Yeah. Oh, in oh, fact, I see people do it all the time. Yeah. Even if you don't have a computer, there was one time yeah. I, I went in there with my camera, took on my SD card, went to the Mac Pro, the Mac Pro, Plug it into the SD card and started working a Mac Pro. Now, you think if you're, if you're working at a computer store, you see some guy coming in to plugging an SD card into your computer. You think this guy's uploading a malware or virus or no, something. You know, that. That one, cut, one service worker came up to me and go, can I help you, sir? I go, nope, just uploading, just editing a video. They go, okay, and he walked away. Yeah. Left me alone and I, want I, you to use it. I edited the video on the Mac Pro, uploaded on, at the Apple Store, went up in a few minutes, done. Right. And a, if you want, you, you, you can order pizza. You can? Yeah, they don't care. There? They will deliver. Yeah, uh, someone has <coughs> pizza to the Apple Store. You, they're pet friendly. They won't. They don't. They, they let you bring your dogs in there if you want. And uh, yeah, that's so. actually a pretty good hack. If you don't have a powerful computer, just go use one of the demo ones there. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah. no excuses. And the final place, uh, final place. Now, if you really upload a big, big video, like a, I'm talking a major two gig video file, you need to get up there really, really quick. Uh, 
YouTube space. Yeah, if you can go by far. If, if, you, if you can get in the YouTube space and you need 10,000 subscribers to do it. And but if you get in there one time when we were there, two gig video. I remember it was like a minute <laughs> two, or two. It took less than one minute. Yeah. The whole thing uploaded. You have to drive all the way to LA or mind you, you that's are. true. But the uh, the YouTube space, they're right at the hub of where the internet connects, I think. I think they have a, like a yeah, direct gigaman yeah. line or something. When I ran speed tests on YouTube space, yeah, I remember the that. ISP, it actually said Google. Yeah. Yeah, because that was like ISP. up and down. <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was insane. It was crazy. Yeah. And that was in a Wi Fi too. It wasn't the. Uh, it was it wasn't the NIC cable because they do have computers where you can give you a cable to plug into. That's one thousand megabits a second. So <coughs> yeah, pretty insane. But yeah, that, that so one. these are you know um, any you had any other places? No, but Kim Kim travels all over the place. So what kind of hacks do you know about working remotely? Working remotely. Other hacks. other than hotels. <laughs> yeah, because because she networks with everybody. She goes all over the world. She travels all kinds of places. Every weekend, I see her somewhere else. Well, the hacks I have are kind of for more like people who are lower budget, maybe. Um, a lot of times people, if you travel a lot to a lot of conferences and you don't have the money for Airbnb and stuff like that, I actually recommend couch surfing. Oh, yeah. It's actually a really good, and some couch surfing, I've tried it myself. Some couch surfing are just like Airbnb. They let you have your own room and everything like that. And you don't really, and you don't pay anything because they're giving back. And so it's like this huge so how do you find giving back this? community. Just go on couchsurfing.com. Yeah. Cool. Because each person is rated too by the community. So you know like As a that guest? person isn't going to kill you, oh, okay. you know, when you're sleeping at night. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So there you go. The next time you have a need for a change of pace, don't spend money at a Starbucks. It's five bucks for coffee. Go get free coffee at Fletcher Jones or <laughs> free coffee and donuts at Jaguar Newport Beach. Yeah. And yeah. it'll be much faster Wi-Fi. And you also meet a better clientele as well. That's right. That's right. Good chance for networking. All right. So uh, yeah, that, that's it for that's it for this week. Uh, that was the only question? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah well, well, basically, one, one question a week. One I figure. Question. Otherwise, <laughs> cause the reason we're doing one question a week is I want to be a specific YouTube title. You know, so we oh, want because okay. we want the better views that way instead of like trying to answer everything. So if you have a question, uh, just email it to johnshaw at johnshaw.com or just leave it down below in, in the comments. And we'll, if we pick your question, we'll we'll give you we'll give you a plug for it. And yeah. Right. Oh, here's another one. Oh, oh well, cool. yeah. yeah. It's more for um, what is it? Remote work. Remote work. Um, okay. If you want to connect with people, uh, what I found is if you're like, the reason why I can connect with so many people when I do travel is because there's these um, ecosystems. Like, if you go to China, you go to certain places. There's group social chats, and in the U.S., even though Tinder is for uh, hooking up it has transformed into more for hanging out and actually meeting up socially so there's like group chats that you can enter for the local area and you could say hey i'm currently in this area if you're you know traveling or you want to meet up just for dinner just for a walk just for just to meet up i met a lot of entrepreneurs that way overseas especially when i travel because i just say i'm at here and i'm doing this you could either meet me or not and then they they come to you and they're most likely people who are traveling who are traveling entrepreneurs just like yourself like digital nomads they actually meet up with you in tinder cool in, in wechat we um, chat, yeah. group uh, it's called just local group chats oh, okay and tinder it's just hangout and the reason why i'm saying these things is because it tells you proximity it's like mm. that person is one mile away from you that person's 15 cool. uh, you know minutes away from you All so right. it's immediate connection with the local people who are most likely travelers like you all yeah. right all right there you go more tips uh awesome so <laughs> they did this is uh it should be working nine to five doesn't it <laughs> all right, so yeah. All right, John Chef and JohnShaw.com, Oscar Gonzalez from notagrouch.com, and Kim from groupconvert.com. Groupconvert.com, awesome. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, guys. Uh, subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.